and you can see the difference in what it was about three months ago. I also wanted to do a little product review, guys, really rapidly. If I can show you an old picture of when these first started, and these fish are completely happy in here. Hey guys, first things first, the trip was canceled. This Corona thing uh, just goofed everything up. They want you to test before you travel, show proof of the test, it's crazy. And so anyway, we're just waiting till maybe September. I hope everybody's staying healthy out there. Today I'm gonna give you a review on two feeding products that I use that I find that are really good. Uh, I'm also going to show you a little bit about what's going on in the five gallon tall and I'm making this video a little bit for new viewers. Some of my videos that I did six months ago are a little bit outdated so I'm going to update some of the new viewers on what I'm doing and what I've done a little bit. All right so let's get into the video. Hey guys you know the tank was looking really what I call crisp and you guys know what I mean sometimes your tank just looks perfect so new viewers this is about three months up and running from the time it just had live rock and you can see the difference in what it was about three months ago but I just thought I'd show you guys how things are coming along here my calerpa is growing in really well it just looks nice and clear and crisp tonight it's about 6 30 on thursday evening flower rocks are looking good the fish seem happy this is the frag i just recently put in That's five gallons. It's actually five and a half gallons, new viewers. And I made this, if you haven't seen the videos, I made this from computer monitor stands. It's the glass from the stands. And they were cheap. They were seven bucks on one of the online vendors. I'll put that up. I don't remember right now as I'm doing this but in the back so you can see these are the feet for the monitor stand that's just a larger one so there it is five gallon tall I call it and I hope everybody's doing well and I hope the new viewers can get inspired I'm going to add some more coral to this. Twenty gallon. I just fed the tank. I just cut that leather coral because it was shading my Montipora there, Digitata. That was my ATO going off. So that's looking nice too, but not as nice as five gallon tall. It's just looking cool. I just like that it's so narrow and these fish are completely happy in here. They have no clue they're in this eight inches wide aquarium. That's what this is, eight inches. New viewers, eight inches from here to here. It looks bigger when I go in on it like that, but that's eight inches wide and deep and 22 inches tall. 
All right. I also wanted to do a little product review, guys, on this coral amino. I know I showed it in my feeding video, but I didn't talk about it at all. I just said I put it in there. But I have to say that it is really, really good stuff. I noticed since I've been using this that the colors of my coral, uh, especially the SPS, actually all of them have seemed to color up a lot more. You just follow the directions on the back and you turn your skimmer off when you use it. And the 20 gallons I calculated it's eight drops and it just really works well. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. It goes a long way. I think this is a 30 mil and it's $15. You can get a 250 milliliter bottle for $34 and that probably will last three to six months, I would think. So anyway, review on uh, Coral Amino by Brightwell Aquatics. Really good stuff. I would, I would recommend it. I have five Astrius snails in here. That one has a little hair algae on it, which is fine with me because let it grow on the Astria and not in my tank. I had a little bit you guys that saw my last week's video, I had a little bit grown, but they came out really easy. There was little tufts of a couple, maybe three or four. Remember, one was over here, it's gone. If you pull your hair algae out just a little bit, the hermits, it's like it's bleeding and they just go to it. They love it after it's been pulled and kind of you manually clean it a little bit because now I have no signs of it where I had it. I had some right in between those two flower rocks right there. And I had some inside there deeper, so it's, it's gone. And I had a little bit up in the, it mixed in with the Calerpa, and that's gone too. For those of you who are inquiring about the Hyger, I've cranked it up to full speed now a hundred percent uh, but it's in a wave still in a wave motion see now it's calming and now it's going to build up but i had it on 60 percent and i noticed it wasn't circulating enough water on the bottom of the aquarium see at full power now that it's full power you get a little bit of movement down on the bottom not a lot but that's okay uh, these guys down here don't mind calm water. So there it is. Reef glass skimmer. New guys, Kessel A80. I did do a tour of the tank. Skim 350. That works great. I've shown you guys that before. I believe that really aids in cleaning and clearing this tank because it's circulating the water through it. There's a little filter sponge in there. And there it is. I gotta put some kind of fish painting or something on this wall. Jeez, it's so bare there. Anywho, that's it guys. All right. Another review. Reef Roids by Polyp Lab awesome stuff. I put this in a turkey baster and I squeeze it over my zoas and they have just spread really rapidly. If I can show you an old picture of when these first started about six months ago and you can see them now. This I've only had in this red zoa here, it's, uh, I've only had that in for maybe two months and there was only, I believe, four polyps on this little plug and now they're spreading. 
So everything uh, colors up with the coral amino and the reef roids here. This is really good stuff. I would recommend that too. And this lasts a long time too. You take like a, in 20 gallons, uh, you take a half of a quarter teaspoon, you mix it with aquarium water, and you can use a turkey baster to get the ones that you believe would filter feed, which I do with the Zoas. It, you know, they suck it right up. And then I just let it circulate with no skimmer on throughout the tank. And everything looks pretty good in the tank. So those are the two coral foods I use only. You might notice how the you might notice how the clown uh, he was just relaxing there. Now he's not, oh now he's taking a rest. See how the clownfish rests? If you didn't know clownfish and their behavior, you'd think he was dying. But he's just relaxing. <laughs> Stay healthy. And like always, have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Maybe Wednesday. Water change Wednesday. Maybe. Take care now.